The topic of this year's conference is a matter of choice. In your journalistic career, you made dangerous choices yourself. You chose to jeopardize your freedom for other people's awareness. What do you feel is more important, being free or being able to make informed choices? It's kind of difficult to make an informed choices when you don't have the freedom to do it. I think this idea of freedom, at least in Pakistan, is, is a far more complicated question than simply of having it or not. The, 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 the problem is you have it sometimes. The problem is that you have it in some ways. Sometimes you can criticize the government. Sometimes you can criticize the military. But not everyone can, and not everyone can do it all the time. Uh, so I think that's very hard to navigate as an informed decision maker and as someone whose job is to... Uh, uh, inform people. You grew up in Pakistan, you studied in India in the U US and you are now working in Brussels. All countries and cities that have or deal with geographic or social border crisis. Do you think that borders are obstacles to choices and by extension to freedom? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> like I have, like You framed it very very well, that's exactly what they are. Um, and I've spent a lot of time uh, combating that and continue to do so. But it's very, very difficult. And, uh, and I think in a lot of instances you have uh, systems that are designed to make it difficult uh, and to, to incentivize people from not doing that. You are now giving this conference to a very young audience. Why choose high schooler and not older people, university students, for example, who might be specialized in those topics? I, I went to this high school. Um, so, so I have a very strong bond to this place. It, it, it made me who I am. Uh, I spent two absolutely wonderful years in India where I, I was one of those people that was sitting on the, on the stands. I, I owe this institution and people of this age are far cleverer than we assume and they, they understand far more things than we think they do and I think they, they're far more motivated than people that are older. And so, so I think they're, they're, they're amazing. I, I wish I was 17 again. Yeah. And we're thinking on a small scale, of course, but what role can the Netherlands, or better yet Maastricht, play in the achievement of world peace? Big ambitions, huh? Um, I don't know. I think you, you start at home. You don't need world peace. You, you, you need to focus on making your society better, your community better. It's how you sort of set yourself up for failure. I mean, what is world peace anymore, right? And so starting a school is, is, an, is an exciting way to do it, uh, bringing people from so many different places, from so many difficult places is one way to do it. There's a lot that, that, that can be done, but it, it also needs to be a bit more directed, a bit more focused. Uh, I don't, I don't want to get into the problems of the Netherlands because one, I don't think I'm qualified to speak about them, but I mean, Dutch people know what they are. Um, so, so that's probably the best place to start. What is the workshop you're conducting about? I'm doing a workshop which is called Eat, Sleep, Vote, Repeat with my friend Annelie. And uh, we're looking at the responsibility that comes with freedom of choice. So more precisely about uh, Switzerland and the political system, which is semi-direct democracy. Uh, I'm doing a workshop about what are the choices for the Syrian people. Me as a Syrian, uh, as a Syrian, uh, and my second year, which is uh, he's from Damascus, we're doing the, the the workshop, and we're gonna discuss the choices of the Syrian people. So the workshop I'm doing is about educating for peace. So peace um, and peace education is part of our mission. So I'm exploring with students uh, what we say we do, what we actually do, and what we should be doing, and sort of bringing those things together. Why choose to present this topic to your fellow students? I wanted to also show that when you have the privilege of choosing, uh, it is, it's a different perspective because most people don't have the pri privilege of choosing and then when we have it, most of the time we don't take it and we don't make full use of it. For example, in Switzerland we only have about 40% of people who go to vote. To share this uh, important issue with the student from, the, uh, from, uh, from our perspective as a Syrian, it's my job to, to inform them the the real suffer that Syrian people are, are facing. Well, for, for me, I think student voice is really important within the education and so many of our students choose to come to UWC because of its mission. So I think them having a really authentic voice in actually what we do as we move forward and develop the school is really important. But I'm also running the workshop in NYP and I'm also running the same workshop with primary. So we actually get the whole voice across the school. What projects or choices does this conference inspired you to make? The choices that I make 
is I didn't uh, get deep into the conflict and uh, I choose more about what the choices for us as a teenager and for other families for refugees and I feel re it's really important to discuss it it's really important to inform people about this, the suffer that we we have faced and uh, many people are still facing trying to put for, for all of us making the really deliberate choice to choose to educate for peace and how important that is. The fact that we actually put that at the heart of the education practice that we do. For me it comes back to acting on good intentions. When I make a choice, I uh, just asking yourself why am I uh, attracted to this kind of choice? Is it a good choice? Does it come from a good place, do I want to make good, etc. Do you think Maastricht is a free city uh, where you have the liberty of choice? Yeah, we're so lucky to be in Maastricht and we're so lucky to be in the Netherlands. The laws are generally, you know, sort of very progressive. We're in a really um, privileged position, um, but I also think it's one that actually it takes active citizens to uphold those ideas and sort of behind the laws so that that's also what we need to empower our young people to be learning about, exploring and doing. I can share my stories here. I can express myself as a, as a Syrian, and as a refugee. You have to be free to, to present your message and I feel like we have freedom here to speak our minds and that's uh, great about uh, Maastricht. I don't have the Netherlands nationality so I cannot really participate politically in that sense. In this school I feel very open to opportunities of choosing personally in my own uh, personal development. Yeah.